I am Gregor. The questioning of Gregor is a seminal event in the Forsaken Lands, taking place at Stalwart Fortress, the second key location established after the Church of Her. We meet the titular character, a living database of endless information, and now more machine than man. From him, the audience learns for the first time the backstories of some of the 17 most powerful entities to walk the earth. She who smiles, the first. On a meta level, this episodic space was a Q&A of sorts, an opportunity for the anonymous team behind Wagdai to address inquiries through the character of Sir Gregor. It would not be the last time he addresses our burning questions, although not enough for all the mysteries the Forsaken Lands has to offer. Please tell him I grant you access. Ready now? Yes, yes. Come here and prepare yourself for Gregor. Wondering what all those devices are. Quite an ancient technology. I am no engineer, so I cannot dare guess how these devices work. These keep Gregor alive and ensure his rests are most potent. So he may continue to absorb our knowledge.
Well then, young pilgrim, why not ask him questions? Ask carefully. You will only have two before he tires and refuses you. Ah, and I forgot. He will ask you a question at the end. If you succeed in answering it correctly, he will reward you with another question about this world. He may not show his passion like us, but he loves those who pursue knowledge. Hello, I am Gregor. I am ready for your questions. I am curious what knowledge your fresh eyes seek. First, I will answer. Who are the Seven Sea? I know much about the Seven Sea, but my knowledge is not complete. The Seven Sea are rulers of past cycles. Each found a way to absorb the power of the world. I do not know all of the sources of this power. She who smiles, the first. She has been seen in every cycle. She watches all with a smile. Her disciplines have been seen, but our researchers have never heard them speak. I have no records of her origin or purpose. Yawn the whole. Yorn established a grand kingdom of her, the kingdom of the enlightened. Witnessing destruction across her lands wrought by the nameless serpent, he harnessed her power to turn himself into a being worthy of her glory. The giant hole within himself provided safe haven for the kingdom beyond it and has enabled it to survive many cycles. Yog the Eye. Yog is the brother of Yor. After the establishment of the Kingdom of Enlightenment, Yog saw many turn to paths beyond her glory. Her codex was sent to him in a grand beam of searing light. With this, he obtained the highest form of her knowledge, transforming him into the eye of her glory. His vision ensures all follow her path. Luther the Beacon. Luther, the striver, founded the stalwarts in their never-ending pursuits of knowledge. Luther's followers traveled with him to collect knowledge. Luther recorded all of their knowledge on the walls of the stalwart. The language has not yet been decoded by our researchers. However, past students of Luther have inscribed some of their knowledge to my memory. Luther found a lover among their students here. Luther gave the lover Luther's own arm to protect the stalwart in their absence. While gone, the arm slowly grew attached to Luther's lover, slowly transforming him into a twisted amalgam of Luther and this poor mortal. No longer able to speak, Luther's lover became Luther the Beacon, a great fountain of knowledge, so powerful it brings visions and fear into the minds of any that gather near it. Only those who remained within the walls of the stalwart or had scraps of Luther's original field notes were able to withstand it. I was once a great researcher of these halls and was called by the beacon to absorb the true knowledge of the great Luther. This process destroyed my body, but enlightened my mind. Luther the striver was never seen again in this world. However, I have records of writings in their language found scrawled in various locations beyond these halls. The artificial god, members of the church of her, found an ancient technology in the ruins near the stalwarts and kingdoms of Yor. The ancient technology enabled deeper learning and education in the ways of her light. A great polymath of the church of her sought further enlightenment thrusting himself into the ancient stone that was found at the center of the ruins. In doing so, he became the artificial god, a source of power for all of the technology discovered there. The discovery of this technology 
brought a strange calamity to the area and realms of yore. Those inflicted with this plague became marked with never-ending life, but lost their minds in the process. I cannot speak more about this topic. However, you may wish to know this technology is what keeps my body still alive. I, you the godling, a mortal soul who found an ancient power from a time before the tooth. I have no records of any further detail of her. The Crow of the Treaty. The stalwart has long feuded with the crow. The crow does not align with either of the two. The crow is a part of the great witch the treaty that was separated from herself in some arcane ritual. The true motivations of this group are not known to us. Zo, the world bearer. Not much is known about this member. However, we know that the machinations of Zo are somehow crucial to the existence of this world, regardless of allegiance. Logan the Shameful. He was expelled by the kingdom of the Enlightened for an unknown reason. I do not have any further records on his presence in this world. Finally, the Nameless Charter. I do not know the origin of the Nameless Charter. However, our researchers have indicated that there is an association with the Concord of the Grand Jester. I am sorry, I do not have any further information on the remainder of the 17 in my records. Now I will answer your next question. Will we all be burned? I do not know how to answer such a question. You will decide your fate. I cannot speculate on your decisions. I see there is a third question. I do not normally grant exceptions to the rules of the stalwart, but I require clarity on a detail. If you help my records, I will give you one additional answer. Please answer for me. What is the significance of this sequence entered in my records? Zero. X. Three. Eight. One. Nine, nine, four, D, C, nine, two, two, one, E, F, four, four, seven. Please answer for me. What is the significance of this sequence entered in my records? Zero, X, three, eight, one, nine, nine, four, D, C, nine, two, two, one, E, F, four, four, seven. If answered correctly, thank you. I see. So that is the start of her glory this cycle. One final question. How many hands build this world? At the beginning, there were two. One keeper of creation and one of knowledge. Now there are many hidden forces in this world. Eight are rumored to have assisted the creation of this world. However, the travelers of this world are the true creators. The power of this land belongs to the travelers. Very well, I must rest now. Before I rest, I have received a sensation from Luther. You must begin to receive the life force of this world to shape it as you see fit. Zell in the Stall Wars will know what to do. Please tell him I grant you access. Ah, all done. Always seeking more, aren't you? Well, alas, we cannot know it all. You must leave some mysteries of this universe to solve. <laughs>